Hello everyone, it's really nice to have you back once again. It's been some time since we last spoke about our products right here in front of your screen. Uh, but here we are again uh, presenting you with a new product from Radio Link and it is called the AT9. It's a 9 channel radio transmitter. Um, now some of you guys has already contacted me regarding uh, having difficulties finding uh, proper relevant videos on the AT9. Some of them they saw on videos spoke in, uh, spoke in Russian or some other foreign languages which uh, some of them or most of them has difficulty understand. So after talking to Radio Link, um, we were told to do a, a short and a nice presentation on the AT9 and uh, just to share with everyone uh, the features, the very cool features of the new AT9 from Radio Link. So when you get the package, it comes with a, a black box, pretty nice printed black box with a handle like this. And uh, as you open it up, actually sponge the whole uh, radio in a very nicely neat pack, uh, neatly packed sponge box, box like this. Alright, comes with a manual. Uh, this is a pretty very easy and very easy to comprehend manual because I think let me adjust this a little bit. Um, it actually it's is written in English, which is I'm so glad that it's written in English, as you know because most of us have difficulty understanding Mandarin. So yeah, the English is actually properly worded. Um, easily comprehensible oh, that's the manual you can take your time to read the manual now many of us are eager to find out the new features of what what are the new features of the AT9 now this model actually was launched last year and radio link has been around for some time now this radio the moment when it launches it creates a lot of attention but the publicity of this radio is very limited online so we cannot really get much information on the AT9 so we were so sorry about that so we have to come <coughs> I'll come up with this video and share with everyone the close-ups the close-ups of this, this, this radio as you open the box you will see the new AT9 right inside here uh, with a receiver actually tucked right on top of the radio here it's actually tucked up here this is the new A 89's uh, receiver is called the R90. It is a 9 channel S bus receiver, uh, which you can actually set um, the mode to S bus if you wish. And then as there's a S bus slot here with a full 9 channel rows of pins right here. It is a one antenna, 2.4 gigahertz um, receiver. And if you happen to notice very carefully, it includes a new packet, a very small packet of a ratchet hook here. Now what's the purpose, some of you might ask, um, is for you to level off the throttle, a level back to the middle uh, when you fly a multi-rotor. Okay, for those DJI guys, if you know about having the throttle spring it back to the center, you will know the purpose of this. So for the helicopters and the fixed wing flyers, well you can just leave this alone. And you just fly from zero throttle to full throttle, right? Without having to hover in the midstick. But if you are a DJI flyer, you need to fix your hovering point in the middle. This is a good choice. It's very smart that the radio link includes this inside for additional spring ratchet for you to spring the throttle back to the middle. Uh, some closer look at the finishing. Well, I must say the finishing is pretty much nicely done. With all the relevant switches in its place where it's supposed to be. Right, we have a few, two of the three-way switches here and one three-way switch here which you can assign the flight modes for your multi-rotor and a couple of knobs for you to adjust. Alright, digital frames, nice spring, solid spring, you can feel it is not really an inferior quality but the price is really affordable at uh, so much affordable than the other brands which I am as a Futaba user I will find this is quite acceptable, right? Because I myself am using my own AT9 for my some of the uh, 250 here. This is my personal 250 with the R90 inside here. So this is my personal radio. So I can show you my one. I just turn it on. I can show the full color screen display. Okay, and having the the parameters of the multi rotor here. So you can actually select. Uh, the different models 
model type. You have this a multi rotor known as aircraft, a helicopter, aerobatic plane, some glider setups. Alright, and back to multi rotor. So, for, for my case, I select uh, the multi rotor and just a quick run through. And the 89 allows you to customize your own personal pilot name on top and the model name at the second row. And here actually displays the voltage, as everybody knows. We have a timer one, timer two, the icon for the current model that you are flying now, and the receiver voltage for the receiver on board, as well as the exterior voltage for the LiPo battery that you're flying on the 250. Now, a bit more feature about this is this actually has telemetry already built in, but the telemetry is the basic telemetry where it only shows you the receiver voltage. Now, if you want to show the flight battery voltage onto here, you are you are supposed to buy an additional purchase of the PRM01 telemetry voltage module, which is you're supposed to plug it onto the uh, the balancer plug here and transmit the voltage data right onto the second row of the reading here, which is known as the external reading. To show you what I mean, the basic uh, function of the uh, the telemetry which re reads the receiver, all you have to do is to plug and power up the normal the way you do it, and actually it will actually show the voltage of the receiver here. Now that's what we mean by the basic telemetry. Uh, this might be useful for those who fly the nitro or the gasoline models where you use a, night, a standard nightcap pack to power up the receiver. So you need to monitor the voltage on that receiver pack, the power, the receiver power battery pack, pack in flight. But for us, because we are running on BEC, this will always be constant 5 volts. So, well, if you want to purchase a PRM01 module, it will be helpful for you to monitor the external pack, which is the LiPo battery here. And uh, what else can we show you? Alright, okay, here at the bottom here, all right, we have a small little slot here for the USB. It's for you to update the firmware of the Radio 9. All you have to do is log into their website at the radiolink.com.cn and you can check out if they ever release some new firmware updates which you can actually uh, update through the, the mini USB port right here. All right. And turning over to the back of the radio, you can actually see a simulator port. Some guys already emailed me and tried my best to answer them. Yes, Radiolink has confirmed that you can actually tap a PPM right behind here for your 433 long range uh, transmitter module. Batteries, I'm using the old Futaba Nikad batteries with the standard slot, which is a GST. And it has actually got an anti-reverse uh, function which protects you from accidentally fry the radio if you if you were to plug the polarity reverse into the the battery slot here. The voltage is actually ranged between 7.4 volts to 18 volts. So if you've got a two cell or up to a five cell, yeah, seven, okay, four cell. Okay, yeah, four cells, uh, two to four cells. You're still safe, provided you can get the exact size and shape of the battery which can fit into this compartment. So here we go. This is the new AT9 uh, Radio Link. It comes in one color, gray. And um, if you have any questions, just feel free to email us or leave a message on our Facebook. And I'll try my best, very best, to actually to answer your 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 questions about this new model. All right, have fun, and I'll see you over the weekends. At the field. Bye-bye.